now we are in old field ready control air plane so what was the history of this old field well i say in 1943 it became an airfield uh, the, the United States Air Force used it, or actually as it was called the United States Army Air Force, and they flew P-47Ds, but once D-Day had happened, they only stayed about another month and went over to France, and the airfield was decommissioned then. And so since then it's been a, a market garden. And this is one corner of that airfield. And how often you come in here? Well, there's people here every day. I come whenever. So you are the chairman of this of the club. club. Are there strict rules or are there rules as any sport? Is there any rules in this there sport? Are rules, there are local rules uh, because we've got members of the public around picking crops and we're not allowed to overfly them. Uh, the, this field behind me doesn't belong to our farmer, so we're not really supposed to fly over that field. And we cannot fly beyond the road because there's horses over there. Otherwise, not really. Oh, and we've got to park our cars, cars around the corner. But otherwise, there are no other rules. Other than politeness and uh, good airmanship. Does wind affect? Do you come when it's windy day or? No, no, we're usually limited to about 12 miles an hour as the absolute maximum wind. And why the most people, why they, they're doing this as a hobby? Yes. And are there any other, because what I am doing this video to search some people, they look for medicine they do hobbies, but also for their health. Are there any people that come in doing for health circumstances? I don't think so. Um, get off me grass. Get off that grass! Take your eyes. Fucking hell. Some people are impossible. Uh, <laughs> get off that grass! Uh, the bloody CG's wrong on this. Is it? Way out. <sighs> The problem is I can't get the battery. We have got the two connectors that connect the two different thing, two different um, speed controllers. For some reason, I can't get them below the battery. Don't walk on the grass, sir. <laughs> so, come off. So I'll put the battery right back. So I can Sorry, I'm not allowed to walk on the grass. Never mind. Airplane is so fast to catch. Now we're going to interview Andy. How long are you doing this hobby, Andy? Oh, I started this when I was about 12. But I've only been doing it again now for about six months. I've just taken it up again, just to get some fresh air, get a bit of exercise. So this is the one you, this is you take as in the medicine? Yeah, it's good medicine, it's good therapeutic, as long as you don't crash. 
When you crash it, it's a bit annoying. What tips would you give if some new people would like to... Well, if you want to start, the best thing to do is join a club. Join a club like this one, and then they will have a trainer plane that they'll let you fly, and they'll teach you how to fly properly. And then when you can fly the club trainer well, then you can get your own plane. Because they're not that easy. It's, it's very easy to make a mistake. Um, particularly when it's coming towards you. Because when it's coming towards you, Andy, there are people on the, pump the controls are completely reversed. Oh, from the top of it. And today is very beautiful weather. Do you yeah, particularly you choose beautiful weather when it's yeah, sunny? You're not to fly over people's heads. You've got to go further north. Got there are people on the pumpkin. I didn't see them actually. No, I kept shouting at you. You should really be in that corner, by the way. Yeah, right. yeah chairman is war. Where's the landing? Warning us. So there are particular rules for this sport, as any other sports. Yeah, you nicely landed without any crashing. Is there any day that you crash your airplane? All in one piece. So is there any day you crash your air airplane? I crash occasionally. I crashed one last week. And but do you repair or you take somewhere else to repair for you? No, I made them one myself. Just lots of glue and patience. <laughs> Oh, it's windy. Wind's getting up now. So when it gets windy, is it hard to fly? So you get in trouble with the committee if you're uh, not standing in the right place. In the right place. <laughs> and the last time you said that you had a, a back pain, how did help? How did your hobby help your? Uh, back I think it's pain just or fun you're getting out and about. You're getting out and about, you're walking, you're moving. And when we fly the gliders, we fly up on big hills, so there's a lot more walking to do. And the more exercise you get, the more it seems to help you back. So, natural therapy, what you call yeah, nat yeah, natural, your medicine. Natural recovery therapy. Yeah. I think a bad back comes out of boredom. If you're bored and you've got nothing to do and you sit around all day watching television, that gives you a bad back. So you recommend this to other people who sit at home? Yeah, why not? And it's fun. It's nice. You get to meet some nice people. Have a chat. I left my flask in the van, so I've got to go and get me drink now. Thank you very much, Andy, for your interview. <laughs> well, I'll be Thank flying you. soon, Thank you.